Every television fan gets used to the pain of seeing their favorite series canceled. And we've all seen shows die because of ratings, budget, or cast problems. Sometimes, though, the plug gets pulled for reasons that were totally avoidable, and sometimes even downright dumb. Holy set destruction, Batman! The 60s Batman series starring Adam West isn't anyone's idea of hard-hitting superhero entertainment, but it's a campy classic, and one that might have stayed on the air longer than two years if the network hadn't gotten a destructive itch. Execs at ABC weren't willing to continue funding Batman after its first two seasons, so they decided to sell the rights to NBC. Meanwhile, NBC wanted to make sure Batman's existing sets and props were part of the deal. Unfortunately, during a brief production hiatus between networks, an ABC exec had the sets destroyed, the deal died, and the Cape Crusader hung up his cowl. Robin Hood killed Robin Hood Jonas Armstrong, star of BBC One's Robin Hood, decided to vacate the lead role after the show's third season. But instead of recasting the part with a new actor, the producers opted to simply kill off the character. Since they'd already killed off Robin's love, Maid Marian, that left the supporting cast to carry the show. You know, the one named after a guy who was dead. Although Robin Hood's writing staff was willing to try a revamp, the network decided there was no point in continuing. Young Justice's Lousy Toy Sales When Warner Brothers hit pay dirt with Young Justice, which posted triple-digit ratings increases for its time slot on Cartoon Network, it seemed safe to assume they'd want more than two seasons, but the show was axed after only 46 episodes, prompting outcry and widespread speculation. Despite great ratings, the real reason it was canceled was frustrating to its fans. Funding for the show came from a merchandising tie-in deal with the Unjustice action figures from Mattel. But when low sales killed the toy line, the show quickly followed suit. It's unfair when a show that's supposed to be a 30-minute toy commercial is actually pretty great. But the toys aren't. Kingdom Hospital vs. CSI Few places are scarier than hospitals, so when a horror maestro Stephen King made a deal with ABC to write and produce the haunted medical drama Kingdom Hospital, it seemed like a perfect fit. Sadly, the show's sole season was kind of a mess. Not on screen, where it offered a solid batch of episodes that earned two Emmy nominations, but behind the scenes, where struggles between King and the network doomed it. Convinced ABC wasn't promoting Kingdom Hospital enough, King paid for a print ad campaign, only to see his efforts foiled when execs moved it to a different time slot. King learned yet again that while ghosts are scary, What's truly terrifying is dealing with network executives. Cast into Cancellation Hell After Buffy the Vampire Slayer ended in 2003, fans flocked to the show's spin-off Angel, which was entering its fifth season. After years on the renewal bubble, Angel enjoyed a post-Buffy ratings bump. Series creator Joss Whedon approached WB Network president Jordan Levin about an early pickup for season six. Although Whedon's move wasn't purely a power play, he was looking for extra security for Angel's team, who'd endured years of passing up gigs while waiting for last-minute renewals. But Levin saw it as an ultimatum. The president pulled the plug, all for the sake of throwing his weight around. Although the network later admitted it was a mistake, it was too late to revive Angel. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more.